Hello and greetings, this is Gilles Mancion. I wanted to come and say hello to pull out a few cards to look at this, uh, the condition for this solstice. I wanted to, to wish you a happy solstice and for the, 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 the three months that are coming for this summer show, for this summer time. Of course, those that are in the southern hemisphere will be the, the, the winter holiday, the winter, the winter season, which is very powerful as well. But for most people, it will be the summer, and so there is a great deal of uh, activities that are uh, that are uh, ahead of us. So uh, let us see what uh, I will pull out twelve cards for the twelve sign and twelve aspect of consciousness, and then we'll pull out one card to see the result. So for all Aries, but uh, for everybody, it is what is potential. But most especially for Aries, it is the Six of Raphael. What a beautiful card. And the Six of Raphael is uh, allow, allow the inner child to come out from within you. New friends or, or rela old relations that are uh, coming back. Children or childhood. So it is very much a card of joy, of, of reconnecting to old friends or, or making new friends in any sense. It is a, in any sense, it is a card of joy and happiness that is potential for all of us. For all Taurus, but most especially for, most especially for Taurus, but for everyone, it is what we possess, what we, what are, what has been, um, what we already acquired that is part of our reality. And here we have the decision, the, the Archangel Jophiel. And she said, uh, free yourself from anything that uh, prevents you from moving forwards. Need to purify yourself. Uh, unjustify uh, worries induced by the lack of faith in yourself, trust in yourself. So you have to trust yourself. You have to let go of all the doubts. She's, she's freeing all those birds from the cage. And, and so we, we, are, we, we are birds in reality. We, we can fly, but we do not know that yet. Then in Gemini, for all Gemini specifically, but for everyone, it is our mental activity, our traveling, what we think, and, and, and the, the lower mental aspect. And here we have a new angle, the Archangel Samuel. There is a better way to do things. Time to reflect. Dare to be different. So, so it is very much about finding this new way, allowing the old to go, and finding this new way to be different, to, to change something within ourselves that will make the whole process a lot more flow, flowing. Then in Cancer, happy birthday to all the Cancer. The sun has just moved into the Cancer. Cancer is for so that is for all Cancers, but but it is very uh, for everyone. It is the inner self, the the, the home environment, the, the the immediate environment, and the inner self. And here we have the Archangel Raziel with the revelation. It says uh, joy through spiritual fulfillment. Enlighten the path of someone else. Find the answers to your questions through meditation. So all of this, there is a great deal of integration. That will, a lot of things will be revealed from within. What the, the information that comes from within you needs to be trusted. You have to trust yourself. And for that, the, the more we are able to trust yourself, the more this empowerment will return. For so there is a, a lot of major cards. Then for all Leos, um, and for Leos most specifically, but for everyone, the, it is the heart. It is the creative aspect of things. And here it says, change your life. The Archangel Samuel, a sudden revelation that allows you, allows you to see freedom. Do not do not do tomorrow what you can do today. Uh, grasp all opportunities that offer every change. So, so it is important to allow ourselves to, to, to let go of the past and, and to grab the opportunities that life presents us and, and to do as much as possible within the now. For the time is an illusion. Time, time is, a, is a trickster. Time does not exist, but it, it is very... Uh, it is very convincing to the to the to the linear mind, but it does not really exist. It, is, it has never existed. It is just a, a chosen path that we are we are following. Then for all Virgo, uh, but uh, for everyone, it is how we nourish ourselves. What is the the energy that we nourish ourselves physically and spiritually? And here we allow we, we have to let a lot of things have to be uh, to be uh, processed and let go. And so it is the three of Michael. It says uh, breaking free from the past. You will come out um, stronger from the situation you are living today. Time always uh, f always heals every wound, even the deepest one. So, so it is about, uh, although I say time does not exist, it is uh, through the passing of time, through the experience of, of integration, we are able to, to, to gain more space between us and, and, and those old situations that made, that made us suffer. And then we'll find the, the wisdom that came out of that and we'll come out stronger from those experience. Then in Libra, 
which is for Libra specifically, but for everyone, it is the social world, the world of relationship, because it is business or, or personal. And here she says, uh, your, your dreams are, are, are being realized. Uh, you, you don't have anything for nothing. Loving the, the beautiful thing that life offers. So she's riding a unicorn with this, uh, and so so in a sense we we are creative beings. We have to ask, we have to create, and then we receive. But uh, if we do not uh, create, if we do not ask, then then we can wait a very long time. So it is important to 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 allow yourself to know that whatever dreams you have, it is already part of the process. It is already uh, it is already exists in the fourth dimension. It is a matter of integrating it within this physical life. Then in Scorpio, which comes from for every, every Scorpio more specifically, but for, for everyone, it is what comes from the inner, the subconscious, all those deep things of the root, which address sex, money, death, all the deep deep things of the of the of the material world. And here we have um, we have a chance for freedom in that level. We'll be free from the inside. This is the six of Ariel, and she says uh, your material needs are being fulfilled in an unex unexpected way, just as like by magic. Uh, mark of kindness, giving and receiving with gratitude and acknowledgement. For it is important to be conscious, to give is to receive. And so, so, so to allow ourselves to, to receive magic, there is all kinds of magical things that can happen. Then in, in Sagittarius, for all those who are Sagittarius in particular, but for everyone, it is our philosophy, our laws, uh, what is concerned for us. And here, it's a wonderful card, it's the Three of Raphael, it is Three Mermaids. And as they say, you, you have a good reason to party, community of friends, good news in relationship, in, 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 about a relationship or children. So it is, it is a kind of abundance, a kind of intimacy. It is very important to learn to celebrate, to party, to, to, to not, not in, a, in an abusive way, to abuse our bodies through the partying process. But, but we have to have fun, we have to rest, and we, we have to learn to, to, to work, to rest, and to play. It is all three, just as equally important. It's not just work, 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 or, or rest, 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 or play, play, play. It has to be balanced out in order to have a balanced life. But uh, we are very much attuned to that possibility. What comes to us from the great mother, from in Capricorn, for the Capricorn in particular, but for everyone else, it is uh, what comes to us from the mother, from Amalte, the, the, the goat, was was the the, 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 the one who gave the, the milk to Zeus when he was growing up, so it is the, the great mother. She symbolized the great mother, she who needs to climb up the mountain. Uh, it is the Archangel Sandal form, which is, it talks about divine conduct. Uh, look for a meaning to your life. Uh, and excuse me. Envision a different approach. Uh, surround yourself with friends or masters that are uh, that are uh, that possess a great wisdom. So it is very important that uh, we'll see that this is coming to us from the universe. So in a sense. Well, uh, w what we need to do is to, to, to seek out those people that have that share our thoughts, share our views, so we can exchange ideas freely without having to try to convince anyone of anything, but to, to surround ourselves with beings that are uh, in alignment, in harmony with ourselves. Then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, six major major arcanes, seven major arcanes in this deck. Um, then in Aquarius we have, uh, which is our, for every Aquarius, but for everyone it is our hopes, our dreams, um, our friends. And here we have the Archangel Raguel. Raguel. It's, it's about justice. Fight for equality and justice. Judgment in your favor. Do not give up. So, so it is. It is a process we, we, to keep harmony, to keep balance, to be as fair as possible. And so we will maintain that. Then in Pisces, for all the Pisces, but more especially for more especially for the Pisces, but for everyone, it is the karma that which is inevitable for those three months coming up in this uh, this summer season. And here we have the Knight of Gabriel, sure of himself, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. And it says it's time to act. You are you are becoming passionate for a cause. You know exactly intuitively what to do. So there's going to be a time of action for for there is time for reflection and then there is a time for action and the time for action will be coming and the outcome the key and the outcome for this whole season is the lovers for it is a very romantic season for there is mars and venus that are in opposition which makes a square to to, to neptune and so th those two planets will cre create a great potential for love and, and relationship and here we have the lovers the archangel raphael 
to choose, you must listen to your heart. Profound engagement, profound emotional engagement, the power of love. So, so it is very much, you will come, we'll come to discover a new level of relationship, of connection, of fulfillment, of comfort, of, of, of joy, of, of sharing in this, in this potential, this process of if, if you are already within a relationship, this relationship may deepen, or so you may find a deeper relationship, or, or, or if you're not, then you may, there is a great deal of chance that we may meet, um, meet someone that will... Um, that will uh, fulfill that, uh, that, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that longing, that desire for, for intimate relationship. I wanted to discuss, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you very much for, for liking, sharing, subscribing. I wanted to discuss two, two things about, uh, about the news, the information. I don't watch TV, but I read the press. And so there was two concerns that I wanted to do, two, two ideas that I wanted to present. The first one is about a message that Stephen Hawking left and all the scientific world is exploring that potential and what he says is that within 60 years the planet will be too polluted for us to, to live on it so we have to find another planet to pollute somewhere else. Uh, I can assure you if human doesn't take, don't take care of that planet we're not going to get another one to destroy, pollute and abuse for we have to respect our planet before, once we do that we restore the ecological um, we restore the ecology of our planet, it will come. Uh, we have to stop first environmental destruction and, and, and industrial pollution, but uh, once we restore the, the ecology of our planet, the, the world, the universe will open and we'll discover marvelous worlds where we'll be able to, to, to freely uh, live and, and do all kinds of creative activity in relationship to those worlds. But, but it's not, not because once we destroyed our planet, it's uh, that we're going to be given another one to destroy or to abuse or to, to, to find new resources. So we have to take care of our world this is the one we have we don't we're not gonna have another one so so let us love our planet love each other bring this light and joy into every situation so that we can up, uplift the, the collective consciousness and become, become people become more aware of their responsibility as caretakers of the earth the second aspect i wanted to discuss is what was why well, it was in relation to the French identity, but it is valid to every country, every 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 country, uh, mostly uh, for the most part. Uh, for for uh, people were wondering what is France. France, I will return to this uh, philosophical uh, idea of the, within the movie Matrix, at some point Neo gets stuck in the, the subway train and he meets this Indian engineer uh, and he explains to him the, the meaning of words, for, uh, he explains what is love, what is karma, they're just words, but it's what it implies is the connection behind the words, what do we imply by those words, they have a certain connection. So in many sense when people say I'm French, it's, it, everybody's got a different idea of what that means. But in many sense, I wanted to say, for me, France is an history, it's a culture, it's a language, it's a territory, and it is a people. For, for that covers, basically, the French identity, but it could be true for, for every other country. I mean, uh, uh, so, so it, it is very much about understanding that we are caretakers of this planet, no matter what our culture, we, we share a lot more, there is a lot more that we have in common than what could separate us in, in no matter what form. For we, we are all created on the same model. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna. I hope this was interesting for you. I'm gonna finish with a little song uh, to, to finish in music. Here is the, called the Fête de la Musique. It was started by Jacques Lang. He was a Ministry of Culture a few years ago, and he started this Fête de la Musique on the on the summer solstice, and, and then everybody goes out on the street and sing and. So it's a day for music, and so, um, um, but I'm not ready to go, to produce myself just yet. But I'm gonna finish with a song. It goes like this. I see trees of green. Red roses too, I see them blue, for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world the colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by i see friends shaking hands saying how do you do they really saying i love you i hear babies cry i watch them grow they learn much more than I'll never know. And I think to myself, 
What a wonderful world Yes, I sing to myself What a wonderful world Well, thank you very much. Uh, I, I know you're, we're all here to be a blessing to the world, so uh, let us do that. And if you listen to this video uh, all the way to the end, let me know by writing uh, my true nature is light and love and so you anchor that energy and you and um, and, and repeat yourself know yourself as light and love do not let yourself be distracted by any bomb during on the road thank you very much have a good day namaste